my mal pals and new pals. Today's video is going to be on how I've been styling my French bob and I recently got a French bob and this is the video of me getting it cut. It has been all over the internet and it's crazy because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm scared to read comments because people can be mean, but everybody's been pretty nice in the comments of the video getting reposted. If you live in the area, Chris Jones is at Salon Bugatti and he is an incredible hairstylist. My haircut is just so good. The only thing is I'm not used to having short hair. Like this is short hair, you know what I'm saying? Like I know when I got my bob in the first place, it was like, whoa, seven inches. And then we went even shorter. So I feel like this is, Super easy for one thing. Okay, and I now I'm rambling uh, If you want to skip to me actually curling my hair here you go, uh, but let me tell you my full mental breakdown about my hair uh, So I am not used to styling short hair and it has been a crazy relearning process because I love Doing hair styling my hair learning new things about my hair But it's always been a little bit like shoulder length or longer for the past. I don't know since I lived in Seattle, 2012. So it's been a process, but I finally have figured out the perfect way that like I enjoy wearing this haircut. So I have basically let my hair air dry uh, while I put my makeup on and then I will go in and get the rest of the dampness out. But if you'd like to see how I blow dry my hair, I will leave a link below. I did a video on that. I'm working with a little bit of natural texture. So if you don't have any natural wave or curl in your hair, no worries, you can still do this. I just use it to my advantage. I, you know, like the underneath is a little bit curly. So I just leave it. Already applied my heat protectant, okay? I just start in the back. See, there's that natural kind of wave. I just play off of it, to be honest. That's one good thing about having short hair is you don't have to have every part of it perfect. It looks cute, messy. So this section right here, I curl away from my face and I literally just keep the uh, iron moving because I have been enjoying movement in this haircut, not necessarily like perfect waves, just because I feel like it looks over styled. Chris styled my hair that day and I, 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 can't, I can't replicate that. So we're just gonna let, let that, you know, picture glory go. So I'm just keeping this moving, curling away from my hair. Oh, by the way, didn't even say what I'm using. I'm using my T3 with the one inch barrel attachment. Love this curling iron. I took about, what, one inch sections. Now I'm gonna take this two inch section because I've really been enjoying like that French girl hair look that curls like towards my face. And for some reason, when I curl this side of my face away from my face, it's, the length is like perfect to like curl under. So I'm also gonna go away from my face with this one. And I think it's the way I'm curling my hair too. See how it curls like towards my face? So I'm leaving that there. This side I have to curl towards my face, it's strange. And then the back, my hair's really kind of curly in the back. I just go in, take this section. My hair's, you know, kind of growing and I go away. Go away, I'm just doing that. Boom, away from my face. This is gonna sound crazy because I know a lot of people like volume, but with my hair shorter, I've not been enjoying as much volume because I feel like it just looks like a helmet. I enjoy a little bit of sleekness at the top. I'm not doing different directions in the curls. That's one reason because that does give you a little more volume there. Curling it away from my face. Boom, boom, boom. And then this section, for some reason, I have to curl towards my face. If like this section curled away and it's like perfectly doing this, I don't know. I've got to do this towards my face to get it to curl towards my face. Imagine that. I'm gonna keep the barrel moving. I just kind of feel around for any sections that might need a little bit of curl, which is this section. And when you have short hair, you gotta really be careful with these curling irons, girl, cause woo, you can easily burn yourself. Now the bangs I feel like have been probably the biggest area where I have struggled curling and figuring out how I like it styled. I have really been liking just the girly bump in, in my bangs. And I was for a while doing sections because my bangs are a little bit uh, thick, but I really like doing it all one section and it just looks just very girly, feminine, throwback, French girl, cute. You know, I was gonna say modern, but it's not really. And I just literally curl my bangs under like that and immediately just kind of mess them up. 
and they look so cute. And I just let them cool down like this. I'm gonna let these waves cool and I'll be right back and, to sh and I'm gonna show you the products I've been loving that style my hair, don't weigh it down because it is short and fine. And we're back. I wanna say something before I start styling. Uh, I recently, <laughs> My friend Natalie gave me this. This is the Kevin Murphy Ever Smooth Heat Activated Style Extender. It's kind of like we talked about, it's like the way one where you spray it and then you style it, but it's way less heavy. It comes out in like a fine liquid and not necessarily like a heavy kind of texture spray almost. Really prefer this, it smells amazing. I just go through with my fingers and because we kept the uh, curling iron moving, you're not gonna have definitive waves. You're almost just gonna have like a nice bend, which I like in my hair this short. So I'm going to spray in the r Co Trophy Shine and Texture Spray. I love this stuff. And I just focus on the bottom of my hair because like I said, I'm not really a fan of more volume on the top right now. So that gives me enough texture and volume on the bottom to kind of give me that cool girl look. And my bangs, I'm just gonna spray and let fall because I do like texture in my bangs. Oh, I really like my hair like this. Super happy about that. Next, to finish off, I have learned to not use my, like too heavy of a hairspray because it can look too fixed. It can age me with this kind of short hair. Uh, so I have been preferring to use the Kevin Murphy Session Spray Flex. Love this stuff. And uh, I just kind of hold my hair out. Once again, spray it towards the bottom and then I will lift the back and let that fall. And then I will claw my bangs like this and spray them and let them fall and just kind of do this. This is just how I've really been enjoying wearing my hair. I feel like I finally found like a style for it instead of like putting it half back. It took me a second, you know? It takes you a second to get used to like, how am I liking this short hair? This is the look. Thank you so much for watching. I will have everything that I used in the info below and I will see you guys later that's it. All right. Goodbye.